hey guys welcome back to my channel so today i'll be reviewing our demo demoing the um products that i got from elf you know just incorporating them in my everyday makeup look so if you want to see how i achieve this look so just stay tuned and the video will be coming up next if you haven't subscribed yet please don't forget to subscribe all right guys so today i'm just going to show you how i incorporate the products that i got from elf into my everyday makeup routine on a daily i don't wear a lot of makeup you know depends on the activity that i have to do but on a regular day i don't wear a lot i don't wear foundation on a regular day and i don't do a lot because i like to be natural so i'm just gonna you know do my regular makeup routine and show you guys and incorporate the products that i got from elf into my routine right all right so first off well i already did my brows if you guys want to see how i do my brows i will leave that video in the description box below as i already did a video on that all right so for my brows i was supposed to use the elf um bro duo but honestly guys i didn't use this because i started using it and it it was too soft and the payoff is not great so i remember one day i used it and i you know you felt like something is on your eye and i went like this and my entire eyebrow was gone so i had to get rid of them so this is a no-no for me i don't have any brows if you guys can remember so this is not for me but if you have hair on your brows already then this would work to fill it in but it can't work for me you have to do mine from scratch so this is a no-no for me all right so what i'm gonna do or what i do on a daily is that i use the poreless putty primer so i put that on first i just put on a little All right, so for this I only put it in my t-zone because I have an oily t-zone very very oily t-zone so all right guys so on a daily before I put this on I would use my um my what do you call it my sunscreen and moisturizer underneath and then I'll put this on top so that's that and then over that i'm gonna put some of the matte oh the matte oil control primer this one can't really see what you guys kind of get the drift because i showed you guys this already and i'm gonna show you how i do my regular routine nothing extra i don't like extra really all right so that's that face is primed and ready to go all right chestnut and I'm putting a little here as I said I don't do a lot because you know on a regular day I don't really need a whole lot or anything see just to see if I can get it contoured <laughs> I got a big nose y'all big nose all right so I'm gonna proceed to blending and I just use my brush I don't know what kind of brush this is well it's a large shader brush but I use it to put my concealer on I mean, <laughs> I'm sorry but that's what I do all right so I'm just blending it in sometimes I go without but when I do, this is what I do. Right, so you want to take your time and blend that in. Let me turn my lights down. <laughs> All right, so then I'm using my sponge. It's not a beauty blender. I got these from um, Amazon for a pack of around five or six. I had a beauty blender but it keeps my beauty blender keeps breaking and it's kind of hard I'm not paying $20 for something that's gonna break all the time 
so the key to wearing concealer and stuff is to blend you always want to blend blend properly too don't want to leave those harsh lines so I'm just doing that blending until everything sets in all right so all right guys so this is where we are at this point I'm going to add a little bit more concealer just for a little bit more coverage you know not a lot there we go I just kind of want it there because and this time I'm using the sponge just to get it in there we go see we, we 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 already look lit don't we yeah we do all right so after that i'm going to be using the under eye setting powder from elf this one here the banana blending one going on so yeah all right so i'm going to be using this i've never used it before so this is what i used to set my under eye it's a little sponge thing from laura mercier Right, so I'm gonna tap this in here take the X I don't even know how this shade is gonna work as I normally use Sasha but we'll see how it works today if it looks ashy you know we don't want no ashy on the eye definitely not well I look too bad still not showing up as that has yellow which is okay for my everyday wear because I like to do a lot anyway right so I'm going to proceed to put on a little contour All right so for the contour I did not buy any contour anything from elf so I'm going to be using this one from pure cosmetics and I got this one in my boxy charm box. Yeah, so this is the one I'm using. I'm gonna be taking this shade here. And it is called Founder. I'm gonna put my brush in it. Suck in those cheeks. Put it right there. <laughs> right there. Uh, make it look a bit smaller <laughs> you know contour it a little so I don't look all that big put some on my cheekbone down there as well you know so I'm gonna proceed to blending that out I normally use my flat tap brush to do that because this one these brush this brush is just a brush i got from amazon a few years ago so it's a brush set that i got from amazon which i really like so i kind of use it a lot when i do wear foundation this is a brush that i use so yeah all right so read the banana powder i'm not liking it it's kind of ashy it's too white for me maybe if you're darker it will i mean lighter if you're lighter skin tone it will work for you but this is my go-to which is my sasha buttercup powder Let's see if i can do my light so you guys can see all right so this is the one i use sasha so i had to dim the light so you guys can see all right so I don't like that one so I'm gonna go over it with my Sasha just a little bit and a lot so I'm gonna proceed to blending it in because I'm not gonna let it bake no longer because I don't want it to be ashy remember this is every day so we don't need a whole lot of nothing okay at least I don't need a whole lot of nothing for my everyday thing. I'm just... You don't have to be as heavy as that. I'm going to be kind of rough when it comes to that because... This basically takes me... 
probably 10 minutes in the morning mornings are less as you know when I'm doing it I'm not really talking and stuff and I'm just taking my time getting it done all right so I think I kind of tone it down a little so it's not that bright anymore because I didn't I don't like the banana the one from elf that is don't like that one at all and I'm gonna put some of my Sasha on my nose right here to be that little thingy thingy yeah because <laughs> I put some um, concealer there and then I'm going to use a angled brush <sighs> this one is from the vintage cosmetics company and it's uh, for shadow this is for eyeshadow but guys let me tell you let me use any brush for anything because we can't really and I don't do a lot because my nose is already big so I don't know who may try to fold with this <laughs> so <laughs> I just kind of put a little here you know just to shape it out a little so I basically just do that and that right there and I'm gonna proceed to kind of fade it in so that it don't look so harsh anymore. You know, no, nobody if you can see the ash line on your face like that. Alrighty. So the next thing I do is I move on to my eyes. For my eyes, guys, during the days, I don't do anything to my eyes at all I just take a regular brush regular regular and I use the same dark shade right here and I will place that on my eyelids right there just like that I don't do anything to my eyes on a regular during the day I just do that I don't wear eyelashes on a regular day either so, alright, so that's basically all I do for my eyes. I just kind of put some of this there, right there, one more right here. Yep, that's basically that. As I said, this is everyday makeup. <laughs> alright, so that's basically what I do for the eyes and then after that I'm gonna be using some eyeliner I don't have a elf eyeliner didn't get one of those so I'm using this eyeliner I don't know who it's from anymore because the label is gone <laughs> so I'm just gonna seminar let me can I don't do anything heavy, just a little wing thing there. Just a little. As I said, this is every day, so don't really do a lot. So for my under eye, I use this brown liner. Alright, so that's that. That's all I do for my eyes, guys, during the day. Alright, so for the rest of my face, where I did not put any concealer, I'm going to put this powder. And this is a powder from e.l.f. So I'm using the shade Dark Deep the prime and stay finishing powder um my shade my overall shade would have been lighter than this but as you can see i am too toned at this point so i just kind of balance it out using the shade here this shade is a little red my face has more of a yellow undertone my neck is red but i still try to make it work i just put it in the spot where 
I did not put concealer and I use it to blend my concealer and my contour together for the little contour that I put I normally wear cream contour most times just to and then you don't want to forget neglect your neck neglecting your neck is not an option guys not an option <laughs> well, what I do next is that I use my brush or my powder brush which is this one here and I just kind of put a little bit more here on my contour and I put a little on my nose kind of blending you know them two shades and then I put a little over here over the concealer just to blend it in a little I really want it to be separate and apart from your face. Mm -hmm. Alright, and then I'm going to be using my MAC. <laughs> I'm going to be using my MAC blotting powder. Just a little. And a lot and put that all over. Okay. All right, and then for the lips now. For the lips, I'm just going in with this brown liner. I usually keep my lips neutral on a regular day. Or I just All right, so this liner is from ColourPop. And it is called pitch yeah I think it's called pitch and then I use another I'm using the Ellery and Colourpop ultra matte lip in anyways alright so I use this one here just the brown I like brown <laughs> on my lips on a regular day. It's just so natural and it blends in. It blends in perfectly. My everyday look. And then I'm using this from MAC and it is called Whirl. Right, B35. I just put a little here. That should give me a little bit more color. Mm -hmm. Let me clean up the edges. Let me use my brush for that. And there's them lips. <laughs> All right. So after that, what I do next is that I will add some blush and for blush during the days I do not do a lot I simply I don't know what this brush is not a brush blush blush brush guys but I use it for that <laughs> so I am going into my perception palette by makeup Shayla and color pop and I'm using the color thick yeah we thick thick over here and I go into this shade here and I put a little on the cheek. So yes, guys, I do use my eyeshadows as um, blush. I like orange for dark skinned girls like myself. I'm not sure why, but it just complements our complexion and you know yeah All right so there you have it you can see this light but you know mm -hmm, it's there <laughs> don't need anything more than that and so I'm gonna set my face using the elf 
magic mist and set oh no <laughs> before i use that i'm gonna be using this this is the eyebrow gel the setter from elf so i put that over my brow so that it doesn't move you want to hug anybody and your brow come off yeah some use some using this i love this this is one of my favorite from everything that i bought from elf and it makes my brows last all day and i have oily brows so there we go and it makes them pop <laughs> pop a lock in. all right so i'm gonna spray so when you spray in your setting spray you want to hold it away from your face shake well always do the test 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 <laughs> just in case so you want to spray it on your hands make sure there is no white residue coming off and i'm just gonna spray there we go <coughs> that one had chunk so i'm using my sponge i'm just patting it in just to make sure it's well blended that is that and then i'm going to be taking this palette again from pure and i'm going to be using this fan eyeliner brush i'm using this color here it's called trail blazer as you can see i use this a lot it's almost done and i'm adding just a little highlight just a little not a lot see just a little There we go, just a little, and then I add some the tip of my nose right there. Then I add some to the bridge, my nose as well, but not a whole lot. And then the last thing I do is I add some mascara. I'm not really, I'm not, as I said before, I don't really wear eyelashes, so I was adding some mascara. When you put it on mascara guys, I recommend you put it on like I did after your setting spray because you don't want to put it on before and then it starts to leak. Alright, so I'm putting on some mascara on my bat bottom lashes. Boy, that's, this takes a lot of skill. <laughs> You have, you have to you have to make the face <laughs> right so that's basically it and that's all i do for my everyday makeup guys this is it it is simple it's easy you know it looks glowy sun kissed and all my favorite out of all the things that i got would be the elf setting spray i love this i've been using this every day i like this not on its own for my skin because i have oily skin and i like the primer as well the primer is pretty good i love 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 the powders these are awesome i love these and for this the banana powder i don't like it it's too light for me but it could work for somebody else with lighter skin tone it looked very ashy and I, I i don't like this i don't care for this at all and as i said before the um bro duo i don't like it either it does not work for me i will stick to my good old pencils because these never fail <laughs> but it can work for you if you have more eyebrows than I do as I said before I do I really don't have any eyebrows so you know it wouldn't work for me and um, that's basically it for this mini review